Hey guys, welcome back to Your Champion Life YouTube channel. Like I said, it's Your Champion Life. You know, I'm talking today about impressive arms. Would you like to have impressive arms? I'm going to show you some really small things to get impressive arms fairly quickly. Now, if your arms are small, if you have long arms, you know, it's a little harder to build. My arms are, are, are so short, I mean, and because they're so short, it's easier to build arms that are like mine. One is I have a lot of muscle fiber, and number two, I have a short bone with a long muscle. But I'm gonna show you something that will kind of camouflage your arm to make it look bigger than what it really is. Watch this. Okay, say for instance, this is your arm. When you want bigger arms, you know what most people do? Oh, they start to work their biceps. But if you look at it, the bicep, by, it's a bicep. But if you look at the lower part of your arm on this uh, chart, it's a tri, a tricep. And all that means is there's three heads on this muscle and two heads on this muscle. Well, what if you continue to build your biceps, but really focus on building the tricep. The other thing is this, the, uh, this is huge. That forearm, if it's a long bone, it makes your whole arm look smaller. Did you know that? Well, if we could take this arm, I wanna I want show you something. I want you to look at my arm for just a second. If I'm standing here and my arm is extended, it looks smaller, but the moment I bring it in, it looks bigger. But watch this, watch my forearm. Once my forearm appears to grow, it makes the whole arm appear to be a little bit bigger. So watch on this diagram. So if I were to take this forearm that looks really long, it takes away from the size of the arm. If I were to add a little more size on this forearm, see that? And I'm gonna take this line away. Look how much better that arm looks. Hold on. We're gonna put some, a little bit of size on the back of this forearm. Just a little bit. Guys, you know what? That's less than an inch. Much, much less than an inch. But just a little bit of size. Look how much bigger that arm looks. Now, I'm just gonna put another, uh, just a, a, a small half inch on that tricep. And I'm gonna get rid of this line here. Now that looks like a bigger arm, doesn't it? You know why? Because it is, but it's given an appearance of a much bigger, much more mature muscle. So that's what we wanna do. We want to build that forearm to make the whole arm look bigger. When the, when the forearm is skinny, it makes the arm look longer and smaller. The bicep is no bigger. We've built and we've put an inch on the lower part of the arm and put an inch on the forearm. It makes the whole arm look, you know, more pleasing to the eye. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you some exercises that are going to, that's going to help you build your forearms and also some exercises to help you build the tricep. So by the time summer comes around, people haven't seen your arms since last year. We've been in this pandemic and hopefully, you know, we won't be in a pandemic uh, this coming summer or at least we can get out more. When they see your arms for the first time, they're going to be, wow, what did you do? Everybody else hibernated and did nothing, but you really built some impressive arms. Let's go do it. Okay, guys, here we go. This is the first exercise. Now we're going to work on building the forearm, which this is a reverse forearm curl or wrist curl. So I'm gonna start in this position and I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna work those forearms, okay? So I'm gonna start in this position. Got a handle. Mm, 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 just like that. And I'm concentrating on pulling up all the way. I'm ensuring that I'm not completely relaxing here because that first movement, if you're not careful, will start to get into the joint. Ah, so I keep it contracted, squeeze. Then I'm going to turn it over just like this. Now my focus is really on concentrating on 
stretching and extending as far as I can and then contracting all the way up as far as I can, really hitting those forearms, the thick part of the forearm so I can get this part to grow. When this part gets bigger, it ties into the bicep and boom. When I was competing, people always asked me, how big are your arms? Are they 20 inches? No, they were in competition. They were maybe 18 and three quarters, as big as they've ever gotten. And most people thought they were 20, 21 inches because my arms are so short and my forearms were so big from uh, making sure that they were balanced. And just the tricep, building the tricep so my whole arm has this appearance. So when you stand to the side, if that forearm is real long, it makes the, the arm look smaller. But if it's shorter, it makes the arm look bigger. So the appearance of my arm was very, very big just because of the size of the forearm and working the tricep. Now I'm gonna show you a few tricep exercises and how to focus on those triceps to make sure you maximize your time with the tricep. Very short video, but very, very powerful. Okay guys, here we go. Remember tricep, there are three heads to the tricep. Bicep, there's two heads. Depending on what position you're in will determine which one of the heads are being maximized. So I'm gonna show you three different positions of working the tricep. So the first one I'm gonna show you wouldn't be the first position you would use, but I'm just gonna show you one here because it's, uh, it's close. So this is the position and you're gonna extend straight out. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. In this position, instead of trying to extend my forearm, I'm squeezing the tricep first. And then squeeze it harder, harder, harder. All the way back. Repeat it. So, with doing your triceps in this position, it's going to contract in this position, and as you extend out, you're forcing your arm to become more and more straight by flexing the tricep, not concentrating on pushing the arm to flex the tricep, but flexing the tricep, forcing the tricep flexion to extend the arm. Complete opposite, but it will maximize the size and the growth, and uh, it'll shorten the amount of time that it requires to actually grow that tricep. Now let's look at regular tricep pushdowns. Okay, again, you're gonna contract first. Ooh, and then you're gonna extend all the way down. Mm. You're gonna make sure you don't come up too high because if you come up too high, the only reason is so you can ooh, get a momentum. Move away from that. Don't get the momentum, but concentrate on squeezing the tricep ooh, and pushing down. Ooh. All the way through. Again, three heads, three different positions. I'll show you the third position. I'm going to drop this all the way down to the ground. And we're going to show you from this side. we go. Those are your overhead tricep presses. So remember we talked about those impressive arms, building the forearm, building the tricep, still controlling and building the bicep, but not focusing so much on the bicep. You'll see a lot of people that are walking around the gym or they're walking around outside and they're like this because they think they have a pretty impressive bicep. But what you have to do is build that forearm and the tricep and you can just be normal. Walk with your arms straight down to the side like normal people. Build the whole arm to get impressive arms. God bless you. I hope you love this video. Uh, and by the summer, let's build those boom, impressive arms. God bless you. Boom.